doing a much better job uh, playing defensively. Still not a lot of possession for the Rangers. Two periods for Vancouver. Sutter Carson on the faceoff. He's got Bruton with him on his left and Bottomley on his right. Banish behind. There's the puck drop. Back to Banish. Banish takes it, takes a step. Oh, Tri-Cities will pick it up and send it deep. Bruton into the wall. And he'll come up with the puck. Bruton off the glass. Sends out the length of the ice. Tri-Cities is going to need to go tag up. And look to break out. Leaves the puck for 15. He wheels through center, gains the zone, looks to walk in, and that puck does go in. I think 15 got all of it. Virtual made a move to get to it, and 15 just outweighed him, was able to get around that far pad. That's the third goal of the game. Power play goal for the Tri-Cities Americans. Well, thank you, Mr. Newball. I appreciate it. I've got a job. But it is something I'd like to do. Not with hockey, though. Whoa, this sport. Boy, tell you what. Hannafin on the draw. tri saves wins it back. Pucks in the corner. Behind the net. Covington's there. Sweeps the puck into the corner. Fister will come up with it. And tri Cities holds that at the point. They send it back down. Where Walsh will kick it up to Covington. Covington now breaks through. And dumps the puck deep. Puck's behind tri Cities net. Oh! That was a big hit by on Covington. And the puck's against the half wall now. That's... And Owen... Boy, that's, that's unfortunate. That's going to be hitting from behind. Oh, good grief. Covington took one, took a hard one behind the net. And that one was clean. He thought it might not have been. Got up, took a couple of steps, and launched himself into the back of a Tri-Cities player against the far wall. And, yeah, of course they caught that one. So, uh, check from behind. That'll be... Two and a ten? Or are they just putting it two minutes up? Just two minutes, it looks like. Nope, that'll be two and a ten. So Covington's going to sit. Holland's going to serve the minor penalty. And the Americans back on the power play. That's too bad. That is too bad. Banish. Below the goal. He holds up. And sends the puck back out. It'll leave the zone. Stry says has to go back and tag up. Hannafin's on the forecheck, putting some pressure on down low. Triplets with him. And Tri Cities looks to break out now. Through center ice. They gain the blue line. Walsh tries to drive play into the corner. He's successful. Tri Cities content to drop the puck off at the point. Oh, great pass in front. Remember when I was saying what a great job the Rangers were doing marking that guy on the far side? They missed that one. Great tic-tac-toe play by Tri-Cities. And Holland can come out of the box now. Fourth goal of the day for the Americans. A second power play goal. Carson on the draw. Myers, Bottomley, Bruton, and Fister out there with him. Puck's in the corner now. Bruton's going to get two. Oh, and that's going to be a check from behind. That's a dangerous play. And Justin needs to just step back about three steps and let the penalty happen. Because you've already... Oh, there's a T. That's... And... And Caldwell... Coach Caldwell has just been kicked out of the game. Oh, that's too bad. And largely unnecessary. So, uh, Bruton got taken down in the corner. There was a call on the Americans. The ref had his hands up. That was going to be a check from behind. 
Uh, Justin Fister decided he was going to take that moment to have a conversation with the player who checked Bruton from behind, uh, at which point Coach Caldwell said things that made the referee offended, and he sent Coach Caldwell to the locker room. So, without further ado, we have a new bench box. Uh, coach, uh, coach uh, Ben Triplett and uh, assistant Randy Akeley. Yes, they've got a couple of new guys, a couple of new kids. 12.57 left in the third period. The score is four to nothing. I don't know why they don't have that fourth goal up. Uh, we're going to get a minute 13 of four on four hockey. And then if everything holds up, we will get uh, a power play for... I'm sorry? Oh, that minute 13 was already off. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Five on four, that's right. Because the penalties were matching, that's right. So the checking from behind, well, if it's checking from behind, isn't that double minor? Isn't that two and two? Oh, they didn't. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, we're going to skate five on four, is what it looks like. We'll know more once they get lined up, I suppose. Confusion. Confusion reigns. Rangers have two in the penalty box. Triplet and Holland. The Americans have two in the penalty box. There's five players out there right now for the Americans. The Rangers have six players so some of those players will come back to the bench I'm assuming And now the scorer's table and the penalty box are working to determine when uh, the releases will happen. 12.57 left in the third period. This is turning into a complicated, a complicated to do. But I have faith we'll get it all sorted out at the end of the day. I had nothing better to do with my day than sit here and watch scores and referees figure out who gets let out at what point. All I've got is a three and a half hour drive ahead of me. What's it? <laughs> I'm hearing a shout out for the scorers and the clock guys. I tell you what, that's a job that I do not do well. I've done the clock once and it was a disaster. So hopefully we get this thing sorted out quick. Otherwise these guys are gonna have to, I don't know, three man weave or something to keep loose. I think what the problem is is they're they're gonna call coincidental minors. Oh, they freed one player from the Americans' penalty box. So just one player in there now. Oh, and they're gonna release Holland too. So Holland gets sprung. <laughs> Man, this clock guy is great. So there's there's coincidental penalties. That means that they're they're going to be sitting for 
for a certain amount of time, and then a, the first whistle after that point, they'll be released. So it looks like they're going to be skating five on five then, which I'm I'm not sure I understand that because I thought there was a penalty on at some point, but who am I to say? Five on five, that's the call. That's what we're doing. All right, we'll get it figured out. I think I think six is better. Six is good. All right, here we go. After the wait, Carson on the draw, wins it back. Hannafin backhands it up to Bottomley. Bottomley over the red line. Tri Cities will collect it and brings it back into their own end behind the net. And we have a hockey game to play. Tri Cities, long pass, cross ice. Chips it into the zone. Walsh will get there first. He gets pinned against the wall. Carson sends the puck around the corner. Tri Cities D man will step up and hold that. Look for a pass. Look for a pass. Chipped by Walsh in front. Long shot through traffic. Tri Cities can't find a handle. 12 27 left in the third. The scoreboard says three to nothing. I'm pretty sure the score is four to nothing right now. As the Americans scored two power play goals. So over the board, Hannafin's gonna take this draw. Hannafin, puck goes up in the air to triplet. Tri Cities will fight it loose, fight it loose. Now Bruton takes a swing and sends that puck to center ice. And, oh, that'll be icing. Nope, no icing. Yep, yep, icing. There you go. As Tri-Cities had a, a issue with the whistle. Had to bang it across his uh, pants there a couple of times to get it working. Sometimes the pee gets stuck inside the whistle. 12-12 left in the third period. Hannafin, Myers, Banish, and Triplet. Oh, there's an inadvertent right, horn. Hanneman lining up to take the draw. And we've got some more discussion about uh, timing, I think. Just a quick confirmation. And we'll line back up. Hanneman. Tri Cities wins that back behind the net. Hanneman. Good job by Hanneman. Way to battle. And that puck winds up below Vancouver's goal line. Bruton, nice job by Bruton. Great turn. Gets that puck loose. Banish in front of the net. Up to Myers. Oh, Dry Cities will swipe that puck and send it back low. Bruton gets a hold of it. High stick by Tri Cities. Good hand eye by Tri Cities, but uh, this is hockey, not baseball. So we'll get a face off just outside the blue line. Oh no, it's going to go the length of the ice. So we'll get a face off all the way in the Tri Cities end. Carson Holland, Bottomley, Walsh, and Fister, the unit for Vancouver. Puck is loose. Oh, Holland, great job stepping in, sending that puck deep. Puck's in the corner. Holland. Holland there to collect. Puck comes up the wall. And Holland gets a hold of it again. Great shift. Puck is over the line. Tri City sends into center ice now. And they look to break out. Puck's loose on the backhand. Walsh will push him deep. Oh, nice job by Tri City. Tries to stick in around the goalie. They lose control of the puck before they can get the shot off. High slot. Shot blocked by Bottomley. And that puck is lost. Up in Bottomley's pants. Oh, down in his skate. Okay, that's better. You got to love this sport, huh? This is great. At least it didn't go up his pants. That's the one that's always fun, isn't it? <laughs> Good job by Bottomley getting out there, blocking that shot. We've got uh, Carson Holland, Bottomley, Fister, and Walsh on the ice. Carson wins it back. Walsh sends it against the wall. Holland and Bottomley work the puck out of the zone. Tri Cities will go collect it now.
Holland sweeps it up, held in at the point. Nice job by Carson getting out there. Oh, oh. Bottomley almost made it up to Carson, who had a step. That didn't happen. That's too bad. Puck's loose. Tri-Cities got it. Holland. Great job by Holland stepping up, breaking that up. Tri-Cities around one. Fister is able to hold on to him now. Push him deep. Walsh. Looking for that man out in front. Vancouver's going to need to be careful now. Holland and Fister. Tri-Cities. That's going to be a hold, I think. We'll see what the call is. Oh, no, the net's off. Net's off. No call. I thought maybe they might have, uh, the Rangers might have been a little too enthusiastic in hauling that guy down. Great effort by the Tri-Cities player there to keep weight on his stick, not get shoved off. 10.04 left in the third period. They've got that fourth goal on the board now. Still five on five. As we have Covington and an uh, Americans player in the box. Triplet's going to take the draw. Triplet over to... Oh, Myers gets his stick held. No call. And that puck... Oh, thank goodness for snowy ice because that puck wouldn't have gone. Oh, Triplet with the puck. He's got a stab. Puck gets swept off his stick. That was exciting for a minute. Hannafin, ooh, Hannafin loses an edge, gets thumped backwards, pucks in the corner. Tri-Cities will come up with it. Through center ice, three on two. And nope, 15 can't hold on as Bruton steps up and pokes it off his stick. Hannafin now tries to sweep it through center. Bouncing puck, bouncing puck. Myers gets it up and into the Tri-City zone for a split second. Comes right back out. Bruton tries to send it in. Bruton does send it deep. So we are in Tri-City's end. They'll go back and collect it. Work behind the net. Oh, nice step around by the Tri-City's defenseman. That's 15. He's about the most impressive player they have on the ice these last two days. Oh, nice shot on him. <laughs> nice shot by him on Bruton there. As Bruton's slow to get up now. Shot up. And, yeah, they need to call that one. Bruton got hit. Might have been up high. It didn't look like a lot, but sometimes it doesn't take a lot. 8.53 left in the third period. And we've got medical help coming out to uh, see to Bruton. As Kobe makes it over to the bench. Come on, Rangers, let's go. We're making some good shots. Let's go. And the referees didn't see enough of that. It looked like it might have been. It it really didn't look like a lot. It looked like a it, an arm got up, maybe. So 8:53 left in the third. We'll see if Kobe's going to be all right. He's holding his neck. And we'll see. I think he's probably going to be out the rest of the game. They're going to hold him, which is the right decision to make. And they're going to they're going to send coach Caldwell out now. Sorry about that. I had a I had a camera issue that I needed to take care of. Puck's loose in front. Virgil tries to reach out and grab it. Can't. Uh, Fister will not quite clear the zone. Tries to clear the zone. <laughs> that scoreboard operator is just a diva. Good grief. Puck's in front. Loose. Oh, oh. Works around. Works around. That's a heck of a stop. Wow. And the puck, the net finally comes loose. Heck of a stop by Burchill. Come 
That was pretty exciting. I'll be honest with you, I thought that one was in the back of the net. So Coach Caldwell uh, got kicked out of the off the off the bench, and he came up into the stands, and I uh, felt the need to comment more on the officiating, and now he's been sent out of the building. Face off Myers. We're at center ice, just through center. Bruton, Bruton and Myers, far side. Bruton and Myers, and the puck's in, tries end. We're skating five on five. Puck comes through. Walsh will pick it up. Walsh. Backhands, nobody's there. Tri Cities picks it up. And the puck goes deep. That shot up. I don't know if it got a piece of the tendy or not. Cross ice pass by Hannafin through triplet. We're at center. Hannafin now sends it back. Two on two as Tri Cities enters the zone. Bruton right back on the ice. And willing to throw a shoulder. And we've got a whistle. I'm not sure what the whistle is for. Oh, they're going to call it a hand pass. That was the linesman. Okay, there's going to be a power play for Vancouver. I'm not sure what the call is. We're getting a bench miner. Uh, he's calling Randy. Randy Yakely said something that didn't agree with the official. And the official points out, rightfully so, that uh, Yakely is not a coach. Also not a team captain in this setting since he didn't dress. So it's hard to blame the officials for that one. I'm not sure why the whistle blew, though, is the thing. So Vancouver's going to wind up on the penalty kill. I'm just not sure what the initial whistle was for. I thought maybe it was a hand pass, but I, I don't know. Maybe Yakely said something to the linesman that made him blow the whistle. I honestly don't know. So there's the faceoff. Uh, triplet took it, and the puck winds up in Birchall's glove. We'll get a, another... Another whack at it. 154 left on the penalty kill. Holland and Covington still in the box. I should say Holland is in the box serving the bench miner. Triplet now. Great job by Triplet to tie up the centerman. Tri Cities takes a long shot. Virtual glove that one down. So 7 10 left in the third period. Americans lead for Zib. They are on the power play. 148 left in the power play. Triplet. Back to the point. Down to the dot. Oh, we got a penalty on the Vancouver. I didn't see it. Delayed call now. That's tipped by Covington. Oh, it's kept in by Tri-Cities. By the extra skater. And now we've got a whistle. Cross check. They're going to get a cross check on 19. Fister. So that's probably, I didn't see it, but it wouldn't surprise me if that was a, a real thing that happened. So the Rangers will skate two down. 6.54 left in the third. Things are turning a little ugly in the Vancouver stands. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully the group here can contain themselves. Pucks in the center ice and gets sent low. Around to the point, not out. Lozier able to hold it in for Tri-City. Sends it back to the dot. Or Ricketts will send it low. Oh, 55 can't get a hold of that one. Carson. Tri-City's now with the puck. Bruton's out there. And Walsh. Tri-City took a lap. Oh! Nice job blocking by Bruton. They'll send that the length of the ice. 
Tri-States will get possession and look to break out. They enter the zone. 48 seconds left in the two-man advantage for Tri-Cities. They've got a loose man in front, the high slot. And at the dot now, down low, one-timer. Virtual gets his pad on it. Rebound comes back out to the corner. Bruton's there. Bruton looking to hold that puck in. Tri-Cities finally digs it out. Nice job by Tri-City, or by Vancouver. Nice stick work to make that puck bounce. Puck's high slot now. Shot, blockered into the corner by Bircho. 14 seconds left on the two-man. Tri-Cities with the puck. Up the half wall. Cross to the point. Works its way down. Oh! That shot tipped in front. I don't know if Bircho got a piece of that, but it wound up in the corner and then the slot. One penalty is expired. The Rangers get an extra man out there, so now five on four. Bottomly just on the ice go, go, go. in a foot race now. Tri Sids will come up with it. Nice job by Bottomly. Triplet. Banish. Nice job by Banish. Good check. Not a deep leader, but separated man from Puck for sure. Puck's in the corner. Tri Sids had it. Oh, Tri Sids gets it. Kicks it over to the side. Fister's out of the box. Great kill by the Rangers. Great job. 4.48 left in the third. Puck's in front. Dancing, dancing. Tri-Cities, good shot on net. Virgil's able to get that one to go into the far corner. And then the point, Puck's below the goal line. Bruton. Puck's, oh, the point man shot it. Deflected by his own guy. We're out of the zone. Fister's on the forecheck. That's, oh, bottomly got a trip there. No call. Tri-Cities enters the zone. Walsh steps up. Banish able to get a stick on it. Triplet now at center ice. Tri-Cities reverses oh, direction. Bottomly, oh. bind pass. Bottomly picks it off. Tri-Cities able to get a stick on it. They've got some speed now. Vancouver with numbers back. Driving the play wide. And Banish is able to get a oh, oh. stick on it through center ice. Myers can't settle the puck down. Triplet now. Into the offensive end, Banish. To Triplet. Myers. Puck goes below the goal line. 55 is going to pick it up for Tri Cities. And he's going to skate it out of the zone. Oh, around one. Banish gets a stick on it, breaks it up before it enters the zone. That's offsides. Yeah, that's a good call by the linesman. And we are back to the Tri-Cities end. Rangers are going to get a line change. Carson, Bruton, Fister over the wall. Myers and Hannafin still out there for the Rangers. Rangers! Linesman's getting tied up in traffic. And Carson's able to get that puck out. Tri-Cities with numbers now. And that puck's going to go deep. Just under three minutes left in the third period. Puck's in front, loose. <laughs> we got some excited parents. Great game here. This is a great finish. Fister up to Hannafin. Into Tri-Cities end. They'll collect it. Up off the glass to center. Hannafin tags up, gets the puck. Nice around one. And gets pushed off. Nice way to slip through that one. Hannafin takes a step aside, avoids a hit. Justin Fister now in the corner with Hannafin. Careful of extending those arms. They've got their man tied up. Tri-Cities able to walk in, collect the puck. Oh, great wraparound opportunity by Tri-Cities. Not sure how that one managed to stay out. Centered. Puck's bouncing up into the corner by the Zamboni door. Mister gets the puck, swings it around. Bottomly. Bottomly. Oh, that's a penalty. On the Americans. Interference. Interference. I'm going to be honest with you. This is one man's opinion. This game has been pretty well officiated. I don't really have any problems with what's been going on today. The Rangers are going to get a second opportunity. Or not a second opportunity. Another opportunity on the power play. All right, Rangers, let's make some shots. Owen Covington's out of the box. And back on the ice. Hennepin's going to get the draw. Covington, Myers... Banish and Walsh out there for the Rangers. Tri-Cities gets the faceoff win. 
Banish gets the puck. Banish looking up to Covington. And that will not be icing. There's no call. Waved off. Tri-Cities. Great job by Myers. Great job by Myers. Gets control of the puck behind the net. Was waiting for someone to get in front for a pass. Puck's loose in the corner. Tri-States picks it up. Up and out of the zone. Walsh will get on his horse to go collect. Nice job by Bainey. Slowing up progress. Of the forecheck. Oh, tipped by Hannafin. Back to center ice. Back down low. Birchall needs to come up and direct that into the corner. Bainey will get it. Bainey up the wall. Covington. Tri-Cities. Tri-State sends that the length of the ice. Oh, icing waved off. That could have been icing. Except for the power play. There's rules. That's right. The Rangers send that deep. 55 seconds left in the third period. 58 was left on the clock. So unless something happens, this game will end on the Rangers' power play. That puck, the length of the ice. Walsh back to collect. Walsh sends it forward. Out of the zone. Tri-Cities will go back and get it. 35 seconds left now. That puck deep into the Rangers' end. Under 30 seconds. Bruton. Maybe time for another breakout. Bruton up to the point. Covington was coming over for the line change, and Bruton thought he maybe was going to have an opportunity to collect a pass. That goes the length of the ice. Oh! That puck hit the Tri-Cities player right in the head. And we're going to get a stoppage. I'm not sure if it jumped up and touched the uh, touched the ceiling or not. 11 seconds left. That's a hard way to hard way to draw a face off, isn't it? So Carson on the draw. Hannafin. Bottomley, shot wide. Fister and Bruton. Oh, Fister had a one timer. Bottomley now's got a chance. Oh, whip. Good opportunity. That's right. Skate away. Fister, just leave that alone, man. What are you doing? Knock it off. I understand it, but good grief. So, great way to end. Great way to end that game. A 4-0 loss. Much better showing than yesterday. Great job by the Rangers. Skating shorthanded. They really showed a lot. Good improvement. We'll keep it here through the handshakes. And then we'll take off. 38 to 6 is the shot count. The Rangers outshot by uh, a little bit. Better than yesterday. Better than yesterday. You know what? Defensively, this game felt a lot, a lot more sound. So that was really great. That was really great. Well, I think they did a great job in play recognition, too. That 5 on 3 with no shots. Wow. Wow. Great job by the Rangers in the three-on-five pen uh, penalty kill. Not giving up a shot. Great job by those guys. Long game. A lot of tired kids out there. But that's the way that one goes. So, that's it. We'll get ready to turn this camera off. And we'll call it a day. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for watching. And that's it. That is it. All right. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.